For those of you who missed that episode of Genesis Week, I was pointing to the Lost Squadron of World War II aircraft, which had to ditch on the Greenland Glacier in 1942. The group of B-17 and P-38 aircraft were found again in the late 80s, and one P-38 was recovered in 1992. From underneath over 250 feet of ice that had accumulated on top of the aircraft in 50 years. Now remember that the expedition was a historic one and not scientific. Uh, they were retrieving aircraft, not studying ice cores. There is no formal scientific write-up that I'm aware of, but the facts are clear and you can view photographs and video for yourself and see the hundreds of ice layers visible in the gopher hole. Okay then Ian, let's have a look at that gopher hole. Uh, but first, a little background to explain what we are seeing. Please welcome Mr. Bob Carden. Bob? Okay, once we uh, locate the airplane, this is the, the melting unit we named it the Gopher. And this is what we actually used uh, to melt the, the shaft down to the airplane. Uh, kind of quick explanation, hot water would be pumped in this here, and through a manifold inside there, we heat up these copper coils, all right, and the water would come in, uh, hot water would come in at 180 degrees. Those copper coils would melt the ice, gravity would pull it down. Here's the melting unit, the Gopher, ready to go. So now when everything gets working and the boiler's boiling the water and it's going down and gravity's pulling down, literally all this thing is doing is sliding down that pipe. You would think that it would go straight down. It didn't. It kind of went down like a windy snake. And uh, I'm going to show you a small film clip here in a second of what the hole looks like. Did you hear that, Ian? It didn't slide smoothly down. It slowly descended through the ice under gravity in an uneven path. Here's Neil Estes. Uh, coming up out of the hole. He had just been down there to see the airplane for the first time. You're sitting on a bosun's chair and uh, you're looking down and you, know, you have his ice crystallized. You see the water running down the side of the cave there? There's a couple of holes. We eventually connected them. There is no formal scientific write-up that I'm aware of, but the facts are clear and you can view photographs and video for yourself and see the hundreds of ice layers visible in the gopher hole. Yes, the facts are very clear. The facts are that without understanding the process involved in the creation of the hole, you have no idea what you're looking at. And the facts are that liars like Ian Juby will tell the ignorant, anything they want to try to defend their absurd creation myth and sustain the very lucrative income they make in the process. <laughs> 